Now, the watches and warnings are numerous, certainly into the Cascades. We're going to see a wind advisory in effect starting from 1 o'clock this afternoon until 11 o'clock for this evening for Spokane. It'll be extended to longer periods of time into areas in North Idaho and then beyond. So use caution if you're going to be traveling. Uh, we could see a little bit of clearing um, about 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, 1 o'clock tomorrow morning, and that would present itself with the Christmas star or the sol solstice star. Uh, potential as you see Jupiter and Saturn come close together and get very bright up in the western sky. Um, showers, lunch should be again breezy and dry and then a return of windy and wet weather in around dinner time with a high today of 50. Abnormally high. The four things you need to know is that uh, we're definitely going to see the potential for snow into the mountains but it's going to be in the highest elevations. Those southwest winds to 45 miles an hour potential for power outages and some felled trees. Um, sunny tomorrow should be calmer as well and cooler with a dry week ahead. So be prepared for that. 24-hour forecast shows a continuation of, again, those dry conditions around noon with still showers into North Idaho. And then we see, you know, again, around dinner time, 5, 6 o'clock, a return of rain and windy conditions. Those winds then coming out of the northeast, gusting, which also brings in a cooler air mass and a clearer sky in areas of central Washington and parts of eastern Washington. So, again, that could help uh, see that star. We look at our highs today. They're going to be, again, well above average, 48 into Coeur d'Alene, 50 for Spokane. And we look at our planning forecast, and we plan on dry weather all the way through Friday, which will be, of course, Christmas. Um, you can see the Christmas tree doing a little bit of a dance. Will it be enough? Well, about a 10% chance of Friday night seeing some snow in our area. That's it. Just a 20% chance on Saturday. And we're going to have overnight lows into the 20s, so be prepared for that. And again, 32, a normal high this time of year as we start to add more minutes to our daytime. We'll see temperatures in the mid-30s all the way through the weekend. I'm Mark Peterson. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, First Alert Weather App, of course, uh, free, downloadable. You can have it right in the palm of your hand that has radar. And also the uh, planning forecast, so you can make plans. All right? Take care. Have a great day.